Hi again guys, I'm back with another unboxing. Um, you've probably seen from the title already exactly what's in this passage, package, so I'll just dive straight into it. I know what's in here. Um, I bought these puddles from... Oh, good grief, it's covered in polystyrene. <laughs> that might be messy. I bought this off eBay. They are new puddles, um, but they've come from China. And they've arrived in around about three weeks so the shipping time isn't too bad at all especially considering it's uh, a kind of an unknown seller which is always a uh, never entirely sure but exactly what kind of service you're going to get well, I mean, this, is gonna be, <laughs> this is made a mess but at least they're well protected that's for sure big box polystyrene box so I've got two sets of stickers there, hopefully they're just replacements rather than having to stick them myself to begin with. Let's have a look. So here's the first one out of the box. This is a Sheng Xiao 6x6. And this is the higher order, highest order queue I've got so far. From what I understand, the turning quality and stability of these isn't great. But yeah, at least it's, it is already stickered, but it's covered in fluff from this polystyrene, which is a bit annoying. <laughs> Alright, so let's get into some first turns on this. Um, it looks quite well, it feels quite weighty and solid, um, feels good quality. Um, that's it. From what I understand, this isn't the best puzzle you can get but so far nobody's actually made a particularly good 6x6 from opinions I've read online so this is as good as any other there is out there except perhaps the V-Cube but the V-Cube has a horrible clicky mechanism from what I understand so let's see well the, the, the first turn feels absolutely fine um, it's very slightly stiff perhaps um, a little bit of lubricant but it's not difficult to turn it under in any way whatsoever it feels quite nice um, I actually quite like the weight of this it's, it feels very solid and chunky but yeah the, that first layer feels absolutely fine um, what I suspect the problem might be is you might be getting problems with popping if, when you try to do an algorithm but I don't speed solve things try to speed solve things like this anyway so I'm not too concerned um, but yeah that it could use a little bit of um, silicon spray, that's for sure, but it's, it's certainly not difficult to turn and it, it doesn't feel like it's catching or about to pop or anything like that. Let's try a... Ah, yeah, that's definitely more difficult to turn there. There's no two ways about that. And you can see, actually... Yeah, some of the centre pieces are moving around slightly as the pieces turn. If it's not exactly lined up, then you can see them kind of wiggling slightly, <laughs> if that makes sense. But no, I think I'm perfectly happy with that. Um, once it's got a bit, a little bit of lubricant in there, I think that'll be absolutely fine to play with. Um, as I said, I'm no speed solver anyway, so I'm not too concerned about how much things corner cut. But just in case any of you are, is It does corner cut a little bit, but it's not. It do about what a third of the QB easily, yeah. Any more than that, and it starts getting a little bit stiff. We will go. Um, let's try it on two layers and see what happens. Yeah, I could feel actually a piece at the back trying to pop out while I was holding that. Looking, my fingers were on top of it. So obviously, you don't want to do too much corner cutting cutting on this puzzle. Okay, this next one out of the box. <laughs> not happy about all the mess it's making okay so as you can probably see this is a 
very similar kind of thing but this is a 7x7 seven seven version so again Sheng Xiao skill level is 6 stars apparently according to that <laughs> I'm curious what the other one would be has I got a similar thing no <laughs> 6 stars skill level ok <laughs> I wonder what their maximum skill level is <laughs> alright so ok this one's covered in a plastic bag which I suspect means this one is already being lubed. And for other videos I've seen in similar ways, these feel quite greasy straight out of the packet. Oh no, this doesn't feel too bad. Oh yeah, yeah, there's definitely some greasiness on the stickers. I'm gonna just give that a wipe off, I think. Yeah, so it's been pre lubed, which isn't a bad thing, obviously. So. I'm not going to complain about it. But yeah, it's definitely not a nice feel when you first take that out of the package. But yeah, I think that's why that's, like I said, in the plastic bag because it has got a little bit of liquid inside it and stops it evaporating and everything as well. Alright, so that's feeling better now. So, size comparison with the 6x6 to begin with. Well, the stickers are very different, actually, aren't they? This is, the 6x6, I didn't realise, it's got kind of textured stickers on it, uh, which are quite nice. And they're all very well placed, actually, excellently placed. Much better than I could do it, that's for sure. I'm really not good at stickering puzzles. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're quite nice. I didn't realise that, yeah, they're, they're, I don't know if that'll show up on the camera or not, but they're actually kind of textured stickers whereas the 7x7 they're not they're just normal standard ones I'll try, have a quick look at those two packages of stickers I pulled up, out and see if um, they're the textured or standard ones um, oh, I can see the 6x6 ones the spare wood set is a textured set as well whereas the 7x7 are just normal flat ones as well and the colours on the 6x6 are actually much brighter than the yellow especially um, is a much more kind of solid colour uh, uh, the, the other Sheng Xiao puzzles I've got the yellow is it's a bit dull I think uh, it could do with the being a bit brighter and this one is slightly brighter and uh, it looks like all the colours are uh, actually the um, orange is brighter on the 7x7 the blue is brighter on the 6 um, the white is a bit dull actually on this textured version but that could just be kind of a optical illusion caused by the kind of shadows from the textured surface put more into the light perhaps yeah that looks, definitely looks better and yeah so as I said the yellow I definitely prefer this textured one okay so let's get some turning of this 7x7 seven seven. <coughs> and you may notice that the 7x7 seven seven isn't fully proportional actually um, as opposed to the 6x6 six six, the the outer layers are slightly larger than the inner pieces on the 7x7 seven seven, and that's quite normal as you reach these high order puzzles the 8x8 eight eight and the 9x9 nine nine are the same it's either basically they've got a choice they can either make it slightly unproportional unproportional or they can pillow the puzzle and because they wanted to make them cubic they've had to make them slightly out of proportion um, that grows slightly as you get to the big high order puzzles um, whether I'll actually get around to buying an 8x8 or a 9x9 or even the 11x11 that you can get I'm not entirely sure because once you get up to these high order puzzles they're not very different to solve um, as much as I'd like them it's, it's more kind of me thinking since I don't have huge amounts of money to spend on puzzles I could maybe buy something different with them instead but anyway I, I definitely wanted these high order ones um, I'll be honest, much as anything else, because it looks quite impressive. Alright then, so the first turns on this 7x7, seven seven, let's have a see. Yep, that feels quite nice, that's very nice and smooth actually. And, let's go right across all the layers again. Yeah, all these layers feel absolutely fine. Yeah, the, that, that turns very nicely actually. Um, I don't think I've seen a 7x7 seven seven review by an audio before but I've definitely seen the 8x8 and 9x9 and people are always very pleasantly surprised by the quality although this one layer is I think it probably just needs a little bit of breaking in 
but it was catching, definitely catching slightly on something there. Yeah, you can probably see that it gets to about there and then catches and sticks slightly and then too much past it. I think it's probably just a bit of a breaking in issue. There might be a little bit of flashing on one of the pieces of plastic or something like that from the um, from the mould. But yeah, all the other layers are absolutely fine. Yeah, that's very nice. I'm very much looking forward to having a solve of this. So let's do the old uh, corner cutting. Let's see if that does anything. So yeah, that, there's about half a cubie there easily, and yeah, any more than that, he struggles. But that's understandable with this many pieces. Try two layers. Yep, that does half a cubie easily. Try two thirds. That's easy as well. Try a whole cubie on the second layer, and no, it won't do it there. You can see actually the, the pieces on the top were trying to pop out there, so you don't want to be corner cutting too much. But once again, since I'm not trying to speed solve these, I'm not too worried. As long as it doesn't have to be lined up absolutely precisely, but you can misalign things and turn it. But that's, I'm happy with that, so I'm not having to constantly finagle with it to get everything lined up perfectly before I make a turn. That's the important thing to me. So let's try a good old checkerboard pattern on it. On the 7x7 seven seven especially since it's all odd layers so you can and yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with that once again it feels not hugely heavy but nice weighty and solid and good quality it doesn't feel cheap um, I think you can see there actually I don't know if it'll show up in this light on the camera or not well but I think the yellow looks really dull when it's mixed up with the white there like that on these Sheng Xiao puzzles um, I may well end up getting some replacement stickers for these, but since I hate stickering so much, I'm kind of loath to do it. But yeah, that looks really nice. The, the blue and green especially uh, look really nice, I think. And the red and orange as well, but the, it's just the yellow, really, I don't like about these puzzles. <coughs> so, yeah, let's uh, do a quick, almost checkerboard on the 6x6 six six as well, as since I've done it on this one. Um, if you probably well aware you can't do a full checkerboard on a on a puzzle with all even layers but yeah, these, these texture stickers are nicer if anything actually this 6x6 is probably easier to turn than this the 7x7 and yeah that definitely looks nicer to me than the other white and yellow So we've got half a checkerboard, well, two thirds I suppose. And yeah, it, it feels a little bit easier to turn actually, even considering this isn't lubed and this is. Uh, but they both feel, yeah, perfectly fine. Okay then, so I think what I might just do is a quick comparison size wise with the other puddles in the kind of range. So here's a standard. 3x3, three three, a Diane Gu Hong. Um, so you can see it's a uh, 6x6 six six is basically five of the layers match up to three of the standard 3x3, three three, and the 7x7 seven is a little bit bigger than that, so yeah. So just under two layers bigger, and you can see next to each other, it's. Um, the cubies on the 7x7 seven seven are ever so slightly smaller, it seems, than the 6x6. Six And a couple of other puzzles in the series. I've got the Sheng Xiao 4x4 and 5x5 here. So if we put them all in a row, you can see the difference in sizes between the, the whole lot. So the 4x4 and the 5x5 are very similar size, actually. The 6x6 is a little bit bigger, and once again, obviously, the 7x7 is even bigger. But each time the cubies do. Um, shrinking size in the higher order puzzles ok then guys um, that's it for this unboxing I hope you enjoyed it please click like and subscribe if you like my videos to let me know you want more and more coming up very soon take care now bye bye